My voice sounds awful because I'm dealing with a little crud, but I'm here with another episode. It's going to be a quick one. What's happening, y'all? This is Mike D with Black Fathers Now, where we're bringing the village to the brothers. Every couple of weeks, you can look forward to a quick inspirational message or a thought-provoking guest with knowledge and wisdom all geared towards helping you be the best father that you can be. We're bringing the village to you. Now is your turn to do something with what you learn. All right, y'all. Let's go. What's going on, fellas? What's happening, ladies? What's happening, everybody? Hope y'all are well. And yes, this is Coach Mike D. My voice sounds awful because I'm dealing with a little crud. But I'm here with another episode. It's going to be a quick one, but another episode. You know, like I mentioned, <laughs> I'm dealing with a little bit of crud right now. Like, you know, I got tested for everything and ironically everything was negative but I felt like crap for a couple of days and my voice is gone a lot of drainage and hacking and all of that stuff but otherwise you know pretty much everybody in my family is fine so that's a blessing but the thing that I wanted to emphasize on this quick episode is the importance of your place of refuge the importance of of your place of refuge. So, you know, full transparency as a man, I believe that when I leave the house, I need to be in fighting trim, right? In fighting trim. What that means is I need to be alert. I need to be ready. Um, I can't be a vulnerable specimen because if I'm vulnerable, then those that I'm responsible for are also vulnerable, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, told you my voice ain't there. So as I leave the house, you know, I have to be ready. That means I have to be prepared. I have to, you know, keep my eyes open and, you know, walk with a purpose and, you know, all of that because I'm responsible for my family. But the thing is, there are times in which I'm not 100%. And so, yes, when I leave the house, you might not know unless you hear my voice that I wasn't feeling well. But when I come back home, oh, I got to lay it down. I need a place of refuge because I have to recover. I have to heal. And we all need those places of refuge. We need those people that you can let your hair down if you have hair. I don't have hair, so I have no hair to let down, but we have to have those people, you know, your wife, your spouse, your children, your close friends and family, where you can be completely yourself, where you don't have to, you know, play a character. You can be your full authentic self, right? Your place of refuge. When you're not having a great moment, you can let it out, you know, without being judged, when you're not feeling well, you have, you know, individuals or an environment that will, hey, what, you know, cook for you or, you know, make stuff for you or do what you need, done, get what you need to get done. And they will help you because they are your place of refuge. They are a part of your place of refuge. And the thing is, we all are in need of that. <clears throat> So in this, you know, episode, this quick episode in which, you know, I am recovering, as you can hear in my voice, I want to encourage each and every one of you, if you currently do not have a place of refuge, to spend time cultivating and nurturing relationships and building that place of refuge, because we all need one. Now, spiritually, we all have a place of refuge and our creator, right? But when it comes to this whole earthly walk, we need some physical places where we can heal, where we can get well, where we can become our best, where, you know, we have to, we have to be our best for the world, but, 
you know, when it's time to come home and kick your shoes off, you can do so and relax. We need that place of refuge. So today, my encouragement to each and every last one of you is to first take care of yourself. Take care of somebody else, but also curate and create a place of refuge. Because if you don't need it now, you're going to need it at some point and encourage other people to create places of refuge. We all need them. OK, well, I'm going to shut this thing down so that I can uh, preserve the voice and hopefully next week things will be back to normal. And oh, you all be on the lookout because big things are changing with Black Fathers now as we move into 2023. Um, we're actually going to rebrand under a new title, a new name, and um, some really, really, really awesome stuff coming that's really going to um, really gonna change some lives. So y'all be on the lookout. We got some really awesome stuff coming. And until next time, y'all be blessed, well, and wise. And I'll holler at you. Peace. Yo, fellas, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And always, always, always visit blackfathersnow.com as well as follow Black Fathers Now on virtually every social media platform you can think of. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. Just follow us and, uh, and engage with us, man. Look forward to hearing from you. And uh, I guess until next time, I'll holler at you. Peace.